So something really profound emerged for me yesterday. I was journaling, um, doing quantum womb space soul work and um, what came up was realizing and recognizing that yesterday was the last day that it was just going to be me with little Steph because today Cheryl returns back to Melbourne and then what surprised me was that there was this tinge of worry like are you going to forget about me? Am I still going to matter? Are we, go are we still going to spend time together? And I was shocked when I when these emerged because yeah I mean like it was for sure definitely um uh this work still matters and it is evergreen no matter what but I reflected on how that has actually took place in my life and it hasn't always been true um and then when I was being with it, I think the first impression or the first imprint of this was when I was no longer a, an only child or um, a, a single child when my, my brother was born when I was four. And going back to that time, I cannot remember anything about that period at all aside from that I really loved my baby brother. Uh, and I had a lot of fun playing with him. Um, but it's all a blur. So I'm not sure what's, like, what went on there. But regardless, um, there was just such a strong fear of like not being interesting anymore. Um not being the shiny thing and I was just also reflecting on how um, I have such a big fear of um, no longer of people no longer being interested and it shows up here about how my inner child is equally as fearful that I will no longer be interested. Mm. So I guess like recognizing that really drives home the practice of making ourselves matter. Uh, and this came up a couple weeks or months ago whereby whenever I'm feeling dysregulated or out of myself, it's because my anchor is outside of myself and my the sun in which my universe revolves around um, would have shifted from within me to outside of me, whether it's a situation, whether it's work, whether it's a person. And I think this is especially the case whenever... I feel in love because love is something for me and in the past experiences that has always swooped me out from my body and into the realm of spirit whereby I no longer get hungry, I no longer have human um, like human needs Ish, such as like eating, like anything that grounds, that is grounding, um, even like meditating, um, anything that requires a slowness, um, it just didn't feel as inviting. And I see it clearly because it's, um, it's such a disembodied, sense of leaving the body into the beautiful ecstatic addictive feelings that come along with the dopamine rushes in the brain um yeah so when that happens then it's really like um the inner child or me no longer matters as much as offering myself to the other 
Um, and then when it's not being mirrored back, when it's not being reciprocated, there is such a fall of like, oh, I, I must not matter um, or I must not be worthy or good enough, blah, 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 all of these old stories. And then realizing that, mm, actually, I can rewire all of that and just make myself matter, do things to show myself that I matter, whatever that looks like, whether it's spending time um, breathing daily or um, going out to nature, carving out time in a day to spend quality time with myself. That is how I am showing um, myself that I matter. You know, it's not just about saying it, but it's the act of devotion, the, the time that I put aside, whereby it's fiercely um, barricaded, whereby nobody can touch it because this is my time with me. And also the, I would say also like the, the gesture of doing that already informs me that I'm important. And I think that when there is such a felt knowing of, of this, that you matter, you are worth something, um, our actions will already be different. Whether it's um, towards, again, towards another, towards a situation, towards work, towards our boss, towards our parents, the way we show up in relationship to them will already be different. Um, whereby maybe there isn't that hunger for them to show us that we are important. And also, even if um, that is the response, you know, like um, it's not always that we will be met, um, there wouldn't be such a blow or a shock to the system because the most important person whom we need approval from already gave us approval. The most important person that we need to know that we are worthy, uh, from which we need to know, from whom we need to know that we are worthy, already informed us that we are worthy. Yeah, so I've been exploring traversing life uh, with these practices and it has made so much difference. So mm, I invite for you, if you haven't yet done this, to, to gift this privilege to yourself of time, of acts of services, um, the five love language, love languages, the six if you include food. <laughs> mm. And notice, notice how it is that you are now showing up in relationship, especially the relationships in which you know that you are craving validation, affirmation, love, but already recognizing that you love you and that actually can be enough. <laughs>